Yo, what's going on, everybody, man? It's your boy Marcus Elbow. Welcome to Healthy Music. And yeah, today we're going to talk about this new controller from Akai. And who is this thing for? I'm not really sure, but I am an Akai Force user. I do like 64 pads, but is this for me or, or is it just for Ableton users? Let's talk about it. Hey, live better, feel better, you'll make better music. music. All right, guys, so the APC64. I've watched some videos on this thing. Uh, it looks cool, I guess, but um, I've just been trying to figure out, is this something that I want to test out, maybe look at it, see what it is? I mean, to be honest with you, I, I'm not really crazy, crazy excited about it. I mean, if we're just going to talk about what I really wanted, I really wanted a Kai Force 2. I, I was hoping that that's what was going to come out. That didn't come out. So uh, I saw this and I'm like, okay, what what is this? You know what I mean? Uh, the price point on it is $3.99, so I guess that ain't too bad. It seems like the things that they're promoting the most on it is the little uh, sliding little uh, whatever manipulation thing. I don't know what the hell they call them, but uh, the touch strips, is that, that's what it's called, the touch strips. It looks like that's what they're kind of trying to sell with this thing and the fact that you can do some sequencing on it or whatever. But if I'm just being really honest, bro, like on the Akai uh, MPC-61 key, I don't even really use the strip on there for real, like talk about it. I'm not saying that it's not dope to use it because again, I watched the video with y'all. The video looks cool. I mean, it looks like they're really trying to market this thing. But at the end of the day, if you're not an Ableton user, then where do you kind of fall with this? Now, a lot of my Akai Force users out there, I know y'all kind of like, yeah, you know, Ableton is kind of like the Akai Force or is the Akai Force like Ableton, whatever. But I still haven't went to Ableton, even though I love sequencing inside of the Akai Force, I still haven't made my way over to Ableton because again, I love Studio One, I love Reason for all of my arranging and my mixing and everything else. So is this controller really competing with the Akai Force? I don't think so. Is it competing with the Push 3? At 399, and then you look at what, the, what it calls for the Push 3, I don't even think this is a, <laughs> it, it can compete with that. Now I haven't got the Push 3 yet, I'm still waiting to get that. Uh, but this just looks like a Kai just put something together, uh, just so that they could really get back into that, uh, that market, uh, with controllers for Ableton, but they're really banking on that. There is a, a multitude of Ableton users out there. And this is something that they need when, to be honest, I think the push two and the push three is pretty much got that sold up, but you know, maybe, maybe it's just me, man. Maybe cause I'm not an Ableton user. Maybe I just don't understand the way, uh, that, you know, or the lure for, you know, what Ableton is and why a controller like this would be, you know, great at that price point. So I'm not knocking the controller. I'm just trying to figure out as an Akai Force user, what would I use this for? Probably for nothing. Uh, so for me, I, I can't really say that I even want to test this thing. I'm not really interested in it. But hey, y'all already know what it is. Let me know down in the comments what y'all think about it. If y'all planning on buying it, y'all want to use it, what y'all going to use it for, how are you going to incorporate this into your workflow? I would, I would love to hear uh, you guys' take on what you think about this brand new controller by Akai. Um, I'm not going to mess with it. I think I'm going to pass it up. But I am going to look at the Push 3 because I am interested in that. So I am going to look at that. And I'm just waiting for an opportunity to get one. And then I'll let y'all know what I think about that as well. Okay. Listen, man, if you want to get this controller, you can easily go over to Zounds. I got links in the description. They got great financing. Sometimes you can get stuff with no credit checks. So if you got bad credit, don't even worry about it. Stuff out there. They got stuff out there. that They don't even care about your credit. They just want you to have the gear you need to get to creating and doing the stuff that you love to do. Uh, but yeah, if you definitely use those links down in the description, it definitely helps support the channel. And remember, if you go over to elbowmediastudios.com, we got courses over there. We got courses coming out every other month. So if you're looking to learn anything about the Akai Force, the NPC or Beatmaker 3 and the iPad, go check it out over at elbowmediastudios.com and cop one of our courses, man. Trust me, these courses are well laid out. They're 
definitely great tools to help you get started. And for those that are even seasoned, you might learn something as well. All right. Listen, this has been Marcus Elbow and this has been Healthy Music. Y'all already know. Live better, feel better, make better music. I'll catch y'all later. All right. All right, man. One piece. I'm out.